Oregon's largest private employer. But Intel was not the first. The seed that grew the Silicon Forest here in Oregon was Tektronix. Ken Body takes us there in this week's Where We Live. In the 1940s, this was the wave of the future. Oscilloscopes give engineers a visual measurement of everything from radio waves to electronic signals and computer circuit boards. So a good example would be uh, just up the street, Intel. Intel will use our equipment to measure the performance of their chips. Now on a 150-acre campus near Beaverton, Tektronix developed technology that helped introduce color television and helped send a man to the moon. It's a great feeling, and it's good to know that Tektronix was at the, at the basis of all of that. It all began with Howard Vollum, a Reed College graduate and Army veteran. He joined Jack Murdoch, who owned a radio shop in Southeast Portland, to create a company called Techrad in 1945. In 1946, they added two partners and became Tektronix. Tech was the first high-tech company in the Silicon Forest west of Portland. Volume's oscilloscopes help fuel the high-tech revolution. It's where everything begins, and then software starts to build on that. Tektronix was Oregon's largest private employer in the 1970s, with more than 10,000 workers. Tech spinoffs planted more roots in the Silicon Forest, including Planar Systems, Mentor Graphics, and Pixelworks. Former tech employee and philanthropist C. Norman Winningstad founded Floating Point Systems and Lattice Semiconductor. He's credited with coining the term Silicon Forest. A theater at the Portland Performing Arts Center is named for his wife, Dolores. Someone counted uh, 300 companies that owe their roots to Tektronix over the years. Volum and Murdoch also started charitable foundations that endure to this day. Really a great legacy for Howard and Mr. Murdoch. Ken Body, Coin 6 News. Wow, and there's a building at Reed College and a lab at Oregon State University named for Howard Volum. In 2007, the Donahir Corporation of Washington, D.C. acquired Tektronix, and Tektronix keeps its name and its focus on test and measurement equipment. If you want to hear more about Tektronix or any of your favorite Where We Live stories, be sure to check out the Growing Coin 6 podcast network. Along with Where We Live, you can find other exclusive content like one-on-one -on -one interviews with local authors. We have in-depth looks at weather and climate change. Uh, you can find the Coin 6 podcast network on coin.com, the Apple podcast area, Google Play, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. We have